Welcome back, or if you're joining me for the first time, welcome to my channel. I'm Trisha with Chocolate Musings. I love to bullet journal or creatively plan, paint, draw, and create lettered art. I love finding inspiration in the world around me and hope I inspire you in some way. Links are in the description below for all products used as well as links to the blog post for this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave me a thumbs up and a comment below on the things that you found useful or what you'd like to see in the future. Today, I will be reviewing my bullet journal for the month of June. I kept June very minimal just to see what I wanted to actually plan. And so I will start out. This is my babysitting calendar. It's not done yet. It goes through July a little bit, um, but I will give you an idea of what that looks like once it is finished. Because, or once the, once the summer is over, I'll give you a little bit of an idea of what that looks like once the summer is over. This has to be one of my most favorite pages ever. I love the way this turned out and I definitely think I need to do some more, I need to do some more pages like this. And then this is my calendar. I didn't end up using weeklies. This is my habit tracker. This is my calendar. This is everything that I have for the month. And I have some habits here and they go along the top. And I think I'm going to change up the way I do some habits. I'm going to streamline it. Um, I do have some things that I want to do every day, but they're not really habits. They are more like tasks that need to be done. And then I've got some notes for the beach here. Um, that's why it's a little bit covered up. And um, yeah, it's this has been a great calendar. I think I could do this in the future if I really wanted to. And then tuck that in there. I have my all the things and I still am adding things to this. We haven't done a tremendous amount. We did go to the pool today, so I need to make sure that I need that I add that as a family or under enjoyed. It wasn't that enjoyable. My little girl evidently was very tired. And so we'll just probably add that in my as a family section. I did put a note here on Corbin's lost tooth. If you were following my Instagram channel, um, which I have a link for it, he, um, it was a very significant lost tooth and I have journals for each of my kids and I'll show you a little preview of that journal, of that entry. His favorite color is red. So he happens to have a red journal too. So this is his journal. He grew up a little bit more, let's just say. And um, so that is, that's a post that I had on Instagram and I love the idea of keeping a journal for each of my kids. I have three children and each of, one, each of them has their own journal. So I thought that was a little bit fun. And then I have a projects and ideas page. So lots of different things that come to mind that I'd like to work on and then current projects I did make each one have a yellow square and then when it was done I checked it off my beach packing list and I thought this was really fun to celebrate going to the beach we haven't gone yet and this is why I'm shooting the video a little bit early because we are going starting on the 23rd. So this video will probably publish when I am gone, but this is what we, this is what we ended up doing. I have a spending log here 
and I would like to complete this. I like this idea and it's got cute little icons here. You can see them. Category, um, groceries. We like to do drinks um, at like our, our local gas station. They've got some good variety. Eating out, household car, vacation fun, clothing, medical, art, which is a big category for me, <laughs> um, books and other. So, and then I have a space here that says need if I really needed it or if I didn't. And there's a lot of ends there. <laughs> Got a couple of other pages that has some notes on it. And then this one is a, I did a blog post on ugly journaling. And sometimes we just try and make our journal so beautiful and so perfect. And we don't give ourselves room to just be us and say what we need to say. I use my, or I used to use my bullet journal as a place where I could be anything that I wanted to be. I could try anything and it would be okay. But then it wasn't going to be picture perfect. And so I stopped doing that. And that's kind of why I've struggled a little bit, I think over the past couple of months, I wrote down my monthly planning reflection, what I'm lacking and to do is intended for accomplishment, planning ahead. So this is my, okay, get it all out and it'll be okay. And then I have some notes. This actually, um, this is a note for Procreate. I got a new Apple tablet. I actually was planning on this being a savings tracker, um, but my boss decided that he was going to buy it for a bonus, which was super nice of him. So I just kind of logged the date that I got the tablet with a doodle. And then this is actually more what I call ugly journaling. Um, so I put in there that I've been feeling so lost lately, too many things scattered and with the school being out. So this is kind of where I broke down what was happening, what I need to do. And then actually this page is where I notated what I needed to do, the struggle versus the solution. So I kind of took some of the items here and then I made a struggle and what I could do to resolve the issue. And then I have some thoughts on projects and kind of an ugly journaling page. This has got some quotes that I found about journaling for my ugly journaling page and it's fine. I like it. One other thing that I learned from my little journaling escapade here, I guess if you can call it an escapade, um, is that my files on my computer were not well organized. I was struggling with keeping, I have a Google drive that I keep because I like to have everything available when I want it. So was keeping things on that and then I have a backup drive and then I have a computer and it just it was getting too overwhelming I couldn't find the files that I wanted and so I after journaling I went through and I decided and I wrote kind of a checklist of what I would include on my computer hard drive and when I would back up to my backup drive and how I would deal with things on my Google Drive. So I decided to jot a quick note when I make some major changes to various folders so I can make sure that I have it backed up and if it's on my computer, which way it needs to go. Anyway, um, so the line here shows that I've already done those. So then I'd start a new list once I make any other changes. 
And then this is the first page for July. So that should do it for the review of June. I hope you've enjoyed my little ramblings and some stories about my personal life. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and leave a thumbs up on the video. And don't forget to visit me on my social media channels. You'll often get sneak peeks on Instagram and Twitter, like I mentioned in the video. And I do have a whole lineup of inspiration on my blog and on my Pinterest account. I hope you remember to plan your life so that you live beautifully. And don't be afraid to try something new and discover your inner muse and maybe do some ugly journaling. See you next time.